Hello there all my awesome viewers, I'm Pumpkin the Creepy Scarecrow. If you're looking to scare crows and humans this Halloween, then this is the perfect look for you. It's really simple and you won't need a lot of products. I've already powdered up my face to save some time, so moving on to the brows. I'm on the brows, I'm going to use a dark brown eyebrow pencil and make them look thin and drawn on. Next, I'm going to take my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and use this reddish brown and apply it right above my lids in a rounded shape. After that nice depth, I'm going to take this Shella eyebrow highlighter and apply it underneath my brows to lift my brows up. For my scarecrow nose, I'm going to use this orange face paint by Meron and I'm just going to start applying that on the tip of my nose in a triangle shape. After the orange, I'm going to take this black paint and I'm going to use this to draw eyelashes first. So right below my brows, three little lines and some more on the bottom corners of my eyes. Next, you want to outline your triangle nose with that black paint. And since the nose is patched up, you also want to make stitches all over. To create that stitched mouth, I need to cover up my actual lips. So I'm going to use this powder foundation and just pat, pat, pat. And then with that black paint, line your upper lip and then drag it up towards your cheeks with a half circle at the end. I'm going to outline my lower lip too because it looks cooler when I open my mouth. And then it's time to make stitches all across the new scarecrow mouth. So draw short little vertical lines. On my cheeks, I'm going to use this Trustique Coral Blush and you want to use a cream blush so it's easier to create that perfect circle on both sides. This is optional, but if you are going for a cuter look, then make sure you add some freckles. Now for the best part, the button eyes. I got these buttons from Joann's and I can see right through them, so they're perfect. To glue them on my eyes, I'll be using this House of Lashes Lash Adhesive and I'm just going to apply it on the top and bottom so it doesn't touch my lashes. And then I'm just going to press it and wait for it to dry. I'm going to do the next button. Also wearing these is like wearing shades. I can see pretty well out of them and it's really comfortable. I also wanted to show you guys what it looks like with smaller buttons. I think they look even creepier. So you guys can just choose the size of buttons and it really makes a difference. So lastly, here is my costume that I got from Party City. Um, it was actually the costume that inspired me to do this look because it was so cute. Um, I'm going to put on my little hat with some patches and here is what my full outfit looks like. And that's my completed scarecrow look, which is kind of creepy and cute at the same time. Before I leave, I also want to let you guys know that I've been filming some really cool tutorials with Icon Network. My show is called Face the Movies and I've transformed myself into Jim, Tiger Lily, Scarlet Overkill and much more. So if you guys want to see more movie makeup from me, then make sure you guys subscribe to Icon Network.